it's your girl Meta Meeks and I am back with more Moon Knight. Um, I'm super excited. I love this show. First episode had me in there like leave Stephen alone. All right, leave Stephen alone. He don't know. All right, he's just trying to live his life. He don't know. He don't know what's going on. Stop calling him stupid. Okay, he doesn't deserve it. He's a sweetheart. All right, and he's confused. But if you're enjoying this reaction series, anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hi, me, you're here. Let's be here together. Down below in the description box, click on my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Meta Don't have the link for my reactions as well as you to clear. And select the last in the series. And also for merch shop, t-shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, all types of things. Red notes and signs on them so you can support monetarily. Those are jobs. I got my Patreon. I got the merch shop. But you can support monetarily. It's going to be retail how. Subscribe. What? Biatch is free. It costs zero dollars. Hit the description button. Hit the notification bell. Be notified. My videos are free. All is free. It's free. She free. It free. We free. All right. Cool. So last time on Moon Knight, we got to meet Steven, who was just minding his beautiful British business out here in the world, worlding. He had a date. He had to strap himself in because he sleepwalks. That's what he thinks. And everything was going swimmingly until he decided to lay back down and wake up in a field of grass looking like the sound of Muzak, but it was not the sound of Muzak. Okay. He woke up, his jaw was broken, and he was just in a place where people were trying to kill his ass. He didn't know why. And then we ran into the guy, Ethan Hawke's character, who looks like a, a hippie homeless man, a hippie Buddha homeless man. And uh, he's like, hey, listen, you got the thing that I need. Just give it here. And Stephen being Stephen was like, sure, I'll give it to you. I don't know what this is. Here, here you go. No. And the voice in his head was like, dog, don't hand that shit off. And he was like, uh, I don't, uh, maybe here. And the voice was like, we're not doing this and kept blocking him from giving him the amulet. And eventually when he tried to take the amulet out of his hand, out of his open hand, uh, Stephen blipped. And when he woke up, bodies was on the floor. Okay. Let the bodies hit the floor. The bodies was on the ground. Bang, bang, gang, gang. It was. <laughs> Although Stephen was confused, he was like, the voice was like, oh my God, he's back. No. And so the shenanigans ensued with Steve bouncing between, and you didn't really get to see the damage. You just bounced between Steven being like, what in the hell? And then being like, oh my God, I've caught. And then waking up with the situation kind of fixed. Um, but he was able to get back to London. I think it was London. <laughs> Excuse me. Luckily, um, and tried to resume his day. But he did not know that he was missing days. To him, it was the next day. It actually was two days from now. So he missed his date with the beautiful Chica Chica. His goldfish is dead. And he was like, I know what my fish be fishing like. And this ain't my fish, dog. My fish had one fin and she was like flippery. And she was with one fin. This bitch got multiple fins. She's okay. Where is my disabled fish? It was cute. And him being confused, he, of course, decided to go to work where he was trying to live his life. Normally, he ended up seeing a dude out there and the dude out there was like, oh, so you are this guy. So you, oh, so you're confused, confused. Okay, cool. Well, while you're confused, give me the scarab. Give me the beetle. I've got things to do. And he was like, I can't give you that. And he was like, well, why not? He was like, I don't know why I can't give this to you, but my body won't let me give this to you. And he was like, okay. All right, I got eyes and ears everywhere. I'm just, I, okay, I'll get it from you. He was like, okay. And so the rest of the episode was, was spent focusing on Steven trying to determine what the French hell is going on. Who is his talking to? Like who is what and why and where he found a phone with this girl, Layla blowing up his cellular situation. And he was like, hello. And Layla was like, Mark, where are you? And he was like, dude, my name is Steven. I don't know no Mark around here. Who the F is Mark? The voice was saying something about Mark. I don't know who Mark is. I'm Steven. Steven. <laughs> But we ended the episode with um, Steven needing help from Mark. And Mark was like, listen, dog, this thing, this wolf thing that they released in this, uh, in this museum here is going to eat your ass if you don't let me assist. And he was like, I got to let you assist. You got to let me assist. He was like, okay, I'll let you assist. Okay, thank you. And he took over, turned into the Moon Knight and beat the hell out of that thing. That thing was trying to get out of the bathroom. He was like, nope. Dragged his ass back in there, beat him down. And that's when we saw Moon Knight in full glorious costume. And the most, the thing I like most about this first episode is that everything from the trailer was literally from this episode. And I'm not mad at it. That's the way you do a trailer. You don't say nothing about nothing. That's why Marvel is so good with the distractions in the trailer. Like they will edit CGI, they will fix it in the name of Jesus to try to preserve the little bit of 
watchery that we have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to spoil you. I'm not going to spoil you. I'm going to let you be confused because you know what's supposed to happen. Most of these Marvel readers, comic book readers, they know what's supposed to happen, but they was like, it's not in the, the trailer. So is it going to be in the movie? And you know, they got, they got us, they got us and they got us in the first half, but not anymore. So now I'm just really happy that all of the trailer stuff was pretty much from the first episode. So all of this is like new information for us and I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and jump into episode two of Moon Knight, Summon the Suit. Send in the clouds. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. You beat your ass, hey. Hey, you fucking it up for real one, huh? Yeah. Where's this, oh my, where's the sand at? The thing is, Mark does all this and tucks Steven's ass back in the bed. Like, go to sleep, bitch. He's gonna go to work and see all this shit and be like, bro, you're fired. I'm mad. He, he, he now is like aware of what's going on. He is so pissed. He's like, really? You're not gonna show out? You just gonna tuck me in after seeing all this? Okay. You members... You members. You, what you're about to see is going to melt your brain. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me. Bro, just play it. You, I wouldn't even say nothing. I'd been like, oh, I need to see this. Yeah. All right, mate. You ready? Yeah. Roll. I bet you it's either cut out or it's just like nothing happening. Are you crying? Yes, I was. A bit. Yeah, <laughs> Here it comes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah, Anna the Baskervilles was it? Egyptian jackal. It was a jackal. I've heard it all now. Nobody else is seen. Nobody else is there. It's still you, bruv. Nope, that's <laughs> not me, dog. They're wonderful. Yeah, I could arrange an appointment. Go ahead, arrange an appointment. I will take that appointment. Thank you. I will gladly take it. Like if I could find that storage locker, that might be my one chance to prove to myself that I'm not <laughs> mad. Bruh. He actually moved. <laughs> Was that even the same guy? How come he doesn't have gold on him? What in the shit? Oh my god. Is it money or bombs or weapons? Okay, that too. Other types of currency. But why does he not remember anything? Hello, man in the mirror. Wondering if you'd pop up again. I know you're scared. A bit, yeah. <laughs> I know you're confused. You weren't supposed to see any of this. But why is he split? I serve Kanchu. I'm his avatar. Which means you are too. Girl, what? Bruh, um, uh, bruh, I don't, I'm not about to. Get back in there. Get back in the hole. Dog. N n what? Nah, see, see, see. See, when you play too much, honey, I love you, but you play too much. He's like, oh dear. Her hair is everywhere. Yeah, and we still have to know. Angel no, I can't. My face has been like linked in, squinting, hiding behind this mic. You really don't remember why we've been looking for this. Our adventures. Or our life together. What in the hell happened? Bruh. Oh, nigga, who was you? Mind if we come in, Mr. Brown? I do mind. Bruh, um, Mark, sweetie, I need you to come fix this. I love Steven. Girl, she quit. 
fella looks just like you. Fake passport and a thief. Eek. Listen, I don't like neither one of y'all. I'm not going with y'all. Who is y'all? Okay, Mark, listen, give him some information. Give me some information. I need to know. First of all, why would you even go with them? They're not taking you to the police precinct. I don't trust not nan person. Let me see your credentials in my face. Let me read them. Let me hold them. If I can't hold your credentials and read them, I ain't talking to you. I don't know who you be, dog. Not at all. None. We were going to the police exactly. Station. Exactly. That's why. Nope. Those people. We need to have it done again, sweetie. I understand you're my non-violent baby. You're my non-violent honey bunny. I get it. Give Mark control, Give control <laughs> so he can get you out of the situation. Eva, do you hear me? Sweetie, no, this is reverse. I hear you loud and clear, Stephen Grant. It's truly heartbreaking. Now, people don't lock their doors at night. They feel safe. Bro, my face has been facing the entire time. People don't want to hear good news. They'd rather cling to their fear, cling to their pain. Go. <laughs> He was like, bitch, that's a go. At Mandarin, we all aspire to learn three languages. So we teach each other. We share our knowledge. He up there perched, like, let me get a hold of, like, Mark. Marcus. Macau. Marquan. <laughs> By the time his fist of vengeance arrives, People have already suffered. So you're really trying to minor minority report this. Didn't you see how that went the first time you tried? You were in that. Ethan, you were in minority report, weren't you? With Tom Cruise? Let me double check. I'm going to double check. No, he wasn't in that one. I wanted to make sure. So I'm like, wasn't he in that one? It was a Tom Cruise one. That scare of me functions as a kind of compass. We yeah, he is really trying to minority extent. report. You really want to be Tom Cruise, huh? You wanna be, you wanna be like Mike. Sometimes the cure is a little taste of the disease. Bro, what? The difference between medicine and poison sometimes is only dosage. So maybe that's just me, but let's, I kind of draw a line there at child murder. Send in the cold! <laughs> I'm its gift. First avatar. All right. It contains in it. Not everybody backing up. A tiny sliver of her mouth. There is no deal in this, Mark. Fix this. Fix this. Summon the suit. Su Sorry, what? Yeah. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. You gonna let your woman up? Come on. I love you, Steven. And I will never, never be mad or mean to you. But I'm gonna need you to bring out Mark Mark. Okay? We need Marquan. Where's Marquan? We need Marquan and his fisticuffs of doom. Look at your wife. She out there wifing it for you. Look at you. Look at that. Speaking in Coptic. Copic? Copic tech? Co Coptic? Coptic? Is it a is it a slur? So you just gonna melt the floor and grids. I got it. Oh, you gonna bring out the thing thing from the floor and the grids. You better protect Layla. That's your wife. That's your wifey kins. Your name is Mark. He's about to snap. Hey, you can do this. I promise. That's your wife. That's your boo thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, honey. You know what? I'm going to stand in front. It's okay. She's gonna be in front. 
Your wife is going to be deceased, isn't she? And then you're going to flip out. Stop in the shoe! Fuck. Um. Are you a magician? Oh, shit. Steven, what the hell are we wearing? I don't know. What is she said I needed a suit. Yeah, the ceremonial armor from Conscious Temple, not Psycho Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like Psycho Colonel Sanders. Listen, I eat that chicken, though. You better give him, give him herbs and spices. Looking right sexy in them suits. This, what is that pose for? Pretty cool, actually. I like this. Can you swap the two? Oh my god. Girl, be careful. Yeah, baby, that's not the suit. You look the different. <laughs> You are letting this invisible jack jack that ass up. Come on. You, he's literally bouncing that ass everywhere. He is choking you. Come on, baby. I believe in you. If you're not going to let Mark do it. Oh, my God. You better save her. Save her. Save her. Shit. Is Mark here? Give me control, Steven. You can't handle this. Mark, honey, just Steven, sweetie, I love you so much, and you're so cute, and you're so adorable. But I'm going to need you to let Mark mark it out. I'm going to need Mark Juan. Someone's going to get hurt if you don't let me help. Come on. All right, do it. Take control for now. Get it out of here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ma'am, Layla, honey, I wouldn't stray too far. They know your name. Look at this suit. Listen. I think only because it's Oscar Isaac that I'm like, when we have relations, keep, keep, keep the suit on. Keep, keep the suit on. I like the mystique. Okay, I like the Marquand of the situation. Feel me. Look at this. Come on. Thank you for further. Wee. Oh my. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, look, it's beautiful. Post. That's a good backdrop. Oh, shit. shit! Who the fuck? Does Layla have it? Does old man Crunchy Crunch have it? Who has it? Ma'am, you took too long gawking. Well then. So now Kanchu was like, dog, he got the thing. You swore he would not interfere. I know. You are worth protecting. This thing is talking the mass shit. Let me go. I know that you enjoy the work I have. Like a big you. bag of shit. We need each other. What is going? Can we get a. Where the hell do you. What?
I feel like I've been watching for an hour and a half. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. He's so sexy. Is that how he got back in the bed? Oh, that person is jamming. They jamming. Let me turn it down. They jamming. Hey, 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 hey. All I got is my hips and one leg. I'm gonna make it work. Listen, I love this. Oscar Isaac is the executive producer. My man, every single time I see it, I just hear the kachinkas, 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 kachinks. I hear the money and I like it. I like it. I'm very excited when people make money. I'm not an evil, greedy bitch. I love it when people make money. Oh my gosh, what are they gonna do? What happened? Was he always like a split personality situation? Or did it happen because Conchu was like, nigga, we need you. <laughs> uh, the team needs you. And I, I don't need that half. I need this half of you. I need Marquan. I don't want Stefan or Stefan. I want Marquan. Give me Marquan. Thanks. I'm so here for this. This is so good. I am so intrigued. I know nothing about Moon Knight. And this, is, this makes it difficult because that means I can't be in my comments because people don't understand that I would like the medium that I am consuming the information to tell me the story. I don't need you to tell me who, who's what, when, where, and why before the story can tell me just because you know in the comic. Listen, these, these credits going, going out are ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's so good. It's so good. I let them run because I don't know if there's like a, a after credit scene or anything. Um, so just in case that there is one, I let it run out. But listen this episode all i all i can really say is poor layla poor layla poor steven because clearly the two of them don't know what is going on and mark is trying so hard to separate the two from whatever is going on and so now we have four episodes left this is the reason why i hate i hate with a flaming burning passion that Disney decided to do nine episodes of WandaVision and everybody else got six. Listen, I need this person here to give me more episodes for, for this. I like, I like to see this. This is a new character I've never seen before. I'm so excited. I took a sleepy pill. I was sleepy when I started this and now I'm not so sleepy, but I'm still in pain. I keep forgetting it's only been a week post-surgery and I'm trying to be like, oh, I don't need to take pain pills. No, I do. It's been a week. It's been a week. It's been a week, a week, okay? I still can't sleep right, but I am so excited to see what they're gonna show us next. So now I guess they're in Egypt, I wanna say somewhere, trying to get to the temple before uh, a Minority Report does. Because listen, I understand, is it, is it Amit, Anit? I cannot remember what the other God's name is, but I get wanting to, you know, make sure that no one ever gets hurt, hurt in the judgment of the judgments. I get that. However, it's the same thing where if you punish someone who hasn't committed a crime yet, how is that like not okay for the person who is technically currently innocent and hasn't done anything yet? I don't mean like running up on somebody with a knife and you stop them. Like they was, the intent was to kill. But if someone is just sitting at home eating breakfast and like five years down the line, they're going to do something fucked up. Like that person right now didn't do anything. So how would you feel comfortable to judge someone? And minority report was like, well, listen, all weeds got to get plucked. From the ground up, you know what I'm saying? We got to rip them. We got to rip out the roots. That's what happened. We got to rip it out. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm loving what they're giving me. I'm loving the characters. I'm loving the way the choreography is fought. Like the choreography is shot. I'm just, I love this whole entire thing. And I'm so excited. So on that note, guys, thanks for hanging with me. Hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye. I don't even know if I'm in frame because I keep moving. I keep moving. <sighs> oh gosh, I love this so much.